I don't know. To each their own. All right, let's move on to this Diddy situation. We're going to talk about it. We're not going to get into all the the particulars of, of, but we will say we will we will talk about it a little bit. Charging Sean Combs with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, interstate transportation for prostitution. The indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present, Combs abused, threatened, and coerced victims to fulfill his sexual desires protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. Sean Combs led and participated in a racketeering conspiracy that used the business empire he controlled to carry out criminal activity, including sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and the obstruction of justice. The indictment alleges that Combs abused and exploited women and other people for years, and in a variety of ways. As alleged, Combs used force threats of force and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended sexual performances with male commercial sex workers, some of whom he transported or caused to be transported over state lines. Diddy Combs has been denied. Sad situation. It's sad and I think in a lot of ways it was driven for the love of money is the root of all evil. Him trying to chase money, him trying to chase power, him becoming obsessed with it, him thinking that the money is a moral pass or get out of jail pass to where he doesn't have to be held to the same moral standards and laws that everybody else does. And in all actuality, he wasn't. The police allowed him to get away with stuff. There were people that were shot in his house, allegedly, and they just made it disappear. He blew up, I believe, Kid Cudi's car, allegedly, made it disappear, was doing all type of weird stuff. All these women accused. We saw the video with him and Cassie, but I, I, I do separate. I do separate a lot of this stuff, and I still am slow to cast judgment when it comes to all of the allegations or all of the charges that he's being, that are being brought against him. Just because he's an abuser, just because he may like weirdo sex and whatnot does not necess does not mean that he was running a criminal organization. Does not mean that he was trafficking women. Does not mean, does not mean any of that. Now, a lot of people may not care. A lot of people may say, you know what? He's an evil person. I don't care whether he did all the things that he's charged with. I want him to go down for him. A lot of people will say that. I don't. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. He should be, he should serve punishment and be held accountable for the things that he's found guilty of. And the things that he's found not guilty of or the things that, you know, you know, it, it, it's hard to, it, it's hard to look at somebody who you think has done something terrible and you've seen them do certain things that are terrible and be able to sit back and say, well, I saw those other terrible things, um, you know, or I should say that it's easy to see somebody doing those terrible things and it's to think that they did all the other things. Um, in my opinion, what I think was going on with Diddy, I think it's just another situation like Epstein. I think that Epstein was working with some powerful people. I think Diddy was working with some powerful people. And I told y'all over a year ago when it first came out with Keefe D, the person that was accused of, uh, or the person that was running around saying that his uh, nephew killed Tupac and he was telling the whole story. And then a year and a half ago, after him telling the story for four years on public platforms, they finally arrested him. And then there was a little sprinkle. I told you, as soon as it happened, like this has something to do with Diddy. And keep in mind, Diddy was the one, the first entertainer, uh, I believe, of our generation that was really pushing voting. Remember Voter Die? Diddy was the one jumping out the window for the Democrats, trying to corral black people, trying to corral the hip hop crowd, trying to corral the culture that he has influence on pop culture, trying to corral everybody to vote for, I don't even know who it was at that time. Was it Barack with the whole voter die? 
I believe that they asked Diddy to do certain things that they had given him a pass on previously. Uh, we'll give you a pass on that, but don't worry. We'll, we'll come back for a favor. And I think when they came back with those favors and said, Diddy, hey, we need you to deliver on these things. I think there were things that he was not comfortable doing and said no. And they just said, are you sure? And I think he made his decision and they decided to move forward with all of the things that they probably were allowing him to get away with previously. And they said, you know what? You're not keeping up with the deal. Therefore, we're going to come after you. That's what I really think happened. That's what I think happened. I think something similar happened with Epstein. I think that Diddy was working with the feds. I think he was working with some very powerful people, high-ranking people, influential people, just like I, we know that Epstein was. Look at the people that went to his house. Look at the people that are on record of him dealing, that who he's dealing with. Diddy, very similar. Just because he was in entertainment, think about what they rely on entertainment to do. Entertainment is one of the biggest forms of manipulation Form, forming how we think, forming our perspectives in a lot of way, in a lot of ways. So I don't really have much details. I didn't read um, the, the case against him or what was filed against him. Maybe I will read it before the next show. But like I told y'all, I'm really not interested in covering a lot of these type of topics because it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not really interested in talking about diddy in a human trafficking case like there's just more important stuff but i do think it is important to touch on you know at least um, to at maybe show us a different lesson which i'm getting ready to do as i transition now i'm getting ready to talk about shannon sharp i want to pause and because i don't want people thinking that i'm saying anything or relating diddy's situation to shannon sharp 